Bella Hadid seems to be one of the most talked about models these days. She's a Victoria's Secret angel, the face of Dior Beauty, and she's constantly appearing in the public eye. She was signed to IMG Models in 2014, also winning Model of the Year back in 2016, and she's only 22. Now with her father being the iconic real estate developer Mohamed Hadid and her mother being former supermodel Yolanda Hadid, she definitely had an upper hand in her rise to the spotlight seeing as her family also appeared on the show The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So we all know that Bella is a gorgeous girl with a rising career as a supermodel, but in this video we're going to be focusing just on her beauty transformation over the years. Although Bella strongly denies rumors of getting any work done, I'm not so sure. Let me know after this video what you guys think. What's going on guys and girls? My name's Kara and this series we've titled Before and After. We're going to talk about Bella's style, look, and any rumored cosmetic procedures. I've done other celebrity transformation videos on the likes of Ariana Grande and reality star Farrah Abraham, and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. If there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Like I said, Bella has denied the fact that she's gotten any cosmetic work done. Even her mom Yolanda stepped in earlier this year addressing the rumors. When Yolanda uploaded a photo to Instagram in sheer pink lingerie back in January, her caption spoke about being natural, stating, living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox, extensions, and all the bullshit I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society conditioned me to believe what a sexy woman should look like until the toxicity of it all almost killed me. This triggered some commenters to inquire about her daughters and why they got work or fillers done, namely Bella. Yolanda's response, none of my children have ever done fillers or Botox or put anything foreign in their bodies. They know better after seeing what I went through. Bella also told InStyle last May, people think I got all this surgery or did this or that. And you know what? We can do a scan of my face, darling. I'm scared of putting fillers into my lips. I wouldn't want to mess up my face. All of this may very well be true, and it's no doubt that Hadid girls were always beautiful, but I think photos tell a slightly different story. Looking at Bella in her teen years, around 2012, 2013, her face looks a lot different. Firstly, Bella's nose. This is the most noticeable change in my opinion. Before, Bella's nose was a bit larger and not as sleek. These days, her nose is smaller and much more refined. This could have been from a nose job or even fillers, such as a nose tip refining procedure, where fillers can be used to lessen any bumps and make the tip of the nose more raised. Considering how different Bella's nose looks, my guess would be a surgical nose job, but who knows, right? It also looks like Bella's eyebrows became raised and more arched over the years. This could very well have been the work of fillers, which would have helped to create the wide-eyed look she has today. Bella's cheekbones are much higher up on her face as well. Bella has lost weight over the years, so this could have caused natural changes in the shape of her face. However, fillers being used here is another possibility because her cheekbones are much more prominent than before. Finally, Bella's lips are definitely fuller. These days, lip fillers are so common, one probably wouldn't even think about it. But when you compare older pics of Bella with how she looks now, her lips do look bigger. Remember, the star denies getting any work done, so these are all just ideas. Moving on to Bella's body, it doesn't really look to me like Bella has gotten any work done here. Standing at around 5'7", Bella has a typical supermodel figure, with an exceptionally small waist. She's certainly lost weight over the years and even admits to her weight changes. In an interview with People Magazine back in 2016, Bella said, My weight fluctuates so much. I really didn't mean to lose weight. Like I want my boobs, I want my ass back, but it's not my fault. My weight fluctuates and so does everybody's and I think that if people are going to judge that's the worst you can possibly do because everybody is different. At this time she was prepping for her debut on the Victoria's Secret runway which obviously one has to look their best for. Bella claims that she was following a strict diet and exercise plan to keep her body extra fit, which included eating lots of protein and working out for three hours daily. One hour is enough for me, but if I was going to be a Victoria's Secret angel, I would definitely be doing the same. In her daily life, Bella says she drinks a lot of water and tries to eat as much healthy food as possible. She does admit to cheat days, saying she'll still enjoy carbs like pasta, pizza, and bread. Nutritionist Charles Passler worked with Bella in terms of keeping her diet healthy and optimized, and he claims that her plan includes a good amount of proteins, healthy fats, and lots of non-starchy vegetables. It seems that balance in eating healthy is the key to Bella's slim figure. She probably eats healthier than a lot of us, but still likes to indulge when she can. And plus, she has the motivation of being a Victoria's Secret angel to keep her in check. Looking at Bella's hair and makeup style, she seems to be content being a brunette. I think it's her signature look, seeing as her sister Gigi is known for being a blonde. This definitely makes them each stand out in their own way. 
day. I think say what they're, they're gonna say. Have a drink, think, found the bad bite. Life is like me, the hard to come by. I think Bella looks great as a brunette and it really brings out her light eyes and complements her skin tone. Bella's makeup look is pretty natural and minimal most of the time and I think it's what looks best on her. She doesn't need much or really anything to make her look good. Not to mention her skin always looks clear and flawless. When the star does wear more makeup, she seems to go for black winged eyeliner and a nice lipstick. Being a supermodel, it's pretty much a given that Bella has good fashion sense. Whether it's on the runway or her everyday wear, Bella is a trendsetter. She's evolved since the early days though, and when she first broke onto the modeling scene as a teen, she had a more casual LA girl style. Over time, Bella has become a lot more daring with her fashion choices. I feel like she was one of the first responsible for bringing back those tiny sunglasses from the 90s too. There are way too many Bella looks that I like, but some of my faves over time include the red gown she rocked at the Cannes Film Festival a few years back, as well as a couple looks she's worn on the Victoria's Secret red carpet. A lot of her outfits are pretty sheer and revealing, so you certainly have to be brave to wear them. Looking at Bella's street style, she always looks great. She seems to like mixing high fashion with trendy and casual pieces that still show her youthfulness. Not to mention Bella always looks great in a bikini. Bella's still young, so I'm sure she'll evolve even more over time, but she's already come a long way. She's gone from having a style much like your average teen girl to a high fashion supermodel within only a few years. Although Bella claims she's never gotten any work done, it's a bit suspicious. Her face has changed a lot in a short amount of time, but either way, I think she looks gorgeous. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you wanna talk more about Bella's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you'd like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.